On day one, I spawned into the treacherous wooded badlands as a tiger snake. Whoa, this has got to be one of the weirdest creatures I've ever seen. Shame that I've only got 10 hearts, though. I started slithering around, trying to figure out what exactly it meant to be a tiger snake. But my exploration was interrupted by the sound of someone hacking down trees. Uh-oh, they sound strong. Boom! A huge bandit warlord burst from the tree line. He was so scary, and he didn't look like he was here to wish me a good morning. Oi, what do you think you're doing, mate? I, I'm, I'm not sure I was doing anything. I'm Zozo, I just got here. Do my eyes deceive me? Are you some kind of snake tiger? Technically a tiger snake, but pretty much. That's not fair, combining a tiger and a snake. That's OP, mate. I can't let that stand. So me and my oogly boogly boys are gonna have to chop you into pieces. You'll have to catch me first. I slithered away as fast as I could, which, lucky for me, was actually really fast. I managed to outrun the bandit warlord by weaving through the badlands, but he wasn't the only one after me. I saw barbarians running behind me, trying to catch me. They were fast, but I was still faster. If those guys caught me, I knew I'd be doomed. In the end, I was able to get away by the scales of my teeth and hid. I'd figured out why the bandit warlord and his oogly boogly barbarians wanted to kill me in the morning. On day two, I started to further explore the wooded badlands. So a gang of really scary dudes are after me, and I don't really understand why. I've gotta think my way out of this, but it's hard to think when hunger is nearing. I slithered around until I found a nice apple tree, which I used my tiger snake strength to knock down, collecting all the wood and yummy apples. Love the apples, love the crunch, but what am I gonna do with all this wood? That's when I had a brilliant idea. I'd use that wood to make myself a wooden pickaxe and start mining myself some stone. With that, I made myself a stone pickaxe and a stone sword. And I couldn't have had better timing because a barbarian suddenly appeared. Yeah, there you are. We've been looking all over for you. If I'm the one to destroy you, the bandit warlord will promote me to second in command. I'll be way better than that jerk, the brigand. Sorry to rain on your career aspirations, barbarian, but I'm not gonna let myself be a step on anyone's ladder. I attacked him with my stone sword, slashing away. It was a tough fight, but before I knew it, I defeated my first enemy. Maybe the bandit warlord was right. I might be a little OP. I spent the rest of the day mining more stone and building myself a basic house with one room and a bed so I could finally get some rest. On day three, I decided to go exploring, seeing if I could find some more materials in other biomes. That's why I slithered into the beautiful cherry blossom forest. Wow, this place is gorgeous. I kind of regret not starting to build my base here, but I soon found there was a good reason why I shouldn't have made my base there. It was home of the bloodthirsty brigand, one of the bandit warlord's deadliest henchmen. Eh, so you're the tiger snake. When the warlord told me about you, I was expecting something much more impressive. Not just a sad little malformed freak. Oh, you're so going down for that, dude. But as much as I wanted to defend my honor, the brigand was just too strong. I couldn't fight him. I could only give up, turn around, and run away to survive. That was so embarrassing. I can't believe I got defeated like that. I still need to get so much stronger. I believe I can help you there, young warrior. Who said that? I turned and saw a majestic desert wolf step out from between the trees. I sense greatness in you, Zozo. I am a guide to those with the potential to be warriors for good and justice. With my training, I believe you can become as strong as you were meant to be and bring an end to the bandit warlord's empire of fear. That sounds like exactly what I need. Come back to my base with me, Desert Wolf. We'll talk more there. From day four to day five, I returned to my base with the Desert Wolf. I decided to build him a house right next to mine so he could come and talk to me anytime he liked. I find your eagerness to begin your training to be incredibly encouraging, Zozo. Thank you for building me my own room. Of course, Desert Wolf. Just let me know if you need anything. I left the Desert Wolf alone to meditate in his room, but while I was chilling outside, admiring the construction work I'd done, another barbarian came running towards me. Tiger Snake, I will annihilate you in the name of the Bandit Warlord. But thankfully, he didn't annihilate me. Instead, I pulled out my sword and annihilated him. And when he was gone, he dropped a bow and a few arrows that I picked up. Finally, I have a good long-range attack. 
From day six to day eight, I decided to build a little pen for my sheep so that I could collect wool later on. Afterwards, I returned to the wooded badlands in search of some sheep. Sheep would be perfect. It's so cold this time of year. I could really use some wool. After over a day of searching, I found a flock of sheep and shepherded them back to my base. While I was out in the badlands searching for even more sheep to shepherd, I ran into the worst possible person I could run into, the bandit warlord himself. Ah, uh, so you must live in the wooded badlands. Good to know. Though you won't be living here for long, or living at all, cause I'm gonna destroy ya. Not so fast, warlord. I'm armed. Check out my cool new bow. That is certainly a cool bow, Zozo. How does it compare to mine? That's when he pulled out a crossbow and shot out a fully loaded firework. And all I could do was run. And as I was running away, he kept firing explosive bolts at me. This is bad, I need to get out of here. Lucky for me, slithering in a serpentine maneuver came naturally. I was able to escape without getting hit, but I knew that the next time I faced him, I might not have been so lucky. From day nine to day 10, I returned to my base, feeling beaten and battered by my one-sided battle against the bandit warlord. But when I returned, I saw something incredible, the start of a statue. I couldn't tell what it was meant to be yet, but just looking at it filled me with surprise and awe. Wow, I wonder what it's going to be. What do you think? If you can guess, give me a hint in the comments. I immediately ran over to my friend, the Desert Wolf, to ask how this had happened. I felt as though you needed some inspiration on your grand quest, Zozo. It isn't easy to have the weight of the world bearing down on you. I thought a monument to a certain phrase would help you see straight. Thank you so much, Desert Wolf. I feel so lucky to have you on my team. The statue isn't the only thing I've done. I made a few base upgrades, a new house complete with a storage room and a training room. They should come in handy along your quest for victory against the bandit warlord. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. I can't even begin to tell you how helpful that'll be. This day just keeps getting better and better. From day 11 to day 12, the Desert Wolf and I were hanging out in the training room. I was working on improving my fighting and slithering skills while Desert Wolf gave me his sage advice. Villain you are up against is full of insecurity, Zozo. What do you mean by that? He and his band of brutish barbarians rule this land through fear. Nobody is brave enough to stand up to them. But those who rule through fear walk on thin ice. The second people stop fearing them, their rule crumbles. So that's why he's worried about me being OP. If I make it look like he's not so scary anymore, he won't be able to rule over all his bandits. Exactly. This battle is not just one that must be won physically. It's a battle of the mind. You've already rattled him. Keep going, keep getting stronger, and eventually you will ensure that his empire of cruelty and fear falls. From day 13 to day 15, I was ready to start putting my new knowledge and training to good use in the Cherry Blossom Forest. I needed to be scarier than the bandit warlord, and the best way to send a strong message was to take out one of his toughest henchmen, the brigand. I made a beeline for where I first saw him, and sure enough, he was there, still looking as mean and smug as ever. Ah, oh, the weird little freak of nature is back. Did I not kick your butt hard enough before? Guess I've gotta show you your place all over again. All you guys love to talk and talk and talk about how cool and tough you are. How about you put your money where your mouth is? Okay, weirdo, let's do it. I crossed swords with the brigand, taking him on with all my might. This time, I had the strength of my goal behind me, and when the dust had cleared, the brigand was defeated, and I'd won the day. I feel like I'm stronger than ever. Wait, what's that weird feeling? I'd gained enough XP to level up. I got bigger, stronger, and suddenly I had 30 hearts. But that wasn't all. I'd gained a new power, the ability to stretch myself and look longer. Huh, I bet this could come in handy somehow. From day 16 to day 19, still feeling confident after defeating that evil brigand, I decided it was time to treat myself to an equipment upgrade. That's why I hunted through the wooded badlands until I found the perfect mining cavern. I bet they'll have some iron down there. I ventured deep down into the mine until I found a rich vein of iron ore that was ripe for mining. I dug it up and collected as much iron ore as I could, then started to leave the cave. But I wasn't alone down there. I saw some freaky old forsaken blocking the exit. There were a lot of them, and I didn't feel like taking the risk of taking them all out at once. I slithered through them and escaped the cave, heading straight back to my base. There, I used a furnace to smelt the ore into ingots and made myself a brand new iron sword and iron pickaxe. That was a risky trip, but it paid off. 
From day 20 to day 22, I woke up with the desert wolf standing at the foot of my bed. Zozo, it is time for you to prove your mettle once again. What? What's happening? Your enemy, the bandit warlord, is at the gates. He's here alone. I believe he wishes to defeat you. Well, I'd better go and see him. I slithered out of my room and saw the bandit warlord standing right there. He looked scarier than ever with his sword and his firework crossbow. I didn't know if I could win this fight. Hello, Zozo. Fancy seeing you here, Roy. I was trundling along, looking for a weakling to destroy. And as luck would have it, the very weakling I wanted to destroy fell right into my lap. I should buy a lottery ticket after this. Are you sure that you're so lucky, Warlord? Or is it all just talk? Attack me and find out, wimp. I didn't want to. Even with my new hearts, I didn't feel confident that I could win in a one-on-one -on -one fight with the bandit Warlord. But... I had another potential plan. Okay, we'll fight. But first, let me enter my ultimate power form. I used my stretching ability to make myself look huge. That's when the bandit warlord started to look nervous. Oh, um, on second thoughts, I left the laundry out. And I'm expecting a delivery at the bandit base. Rain check. I'll destroy you another day, Zozo. The bandit warlord ran off. My plan worked. I'd intimidated him. In that moment, I realized there were more ways I could win than just with raw power. Just like the Desert Wolf said, it's a battle of the mind. From day 23 to day 26, I was tidying up around my base when I spotted a frontiersman cap on the ground. Oh hey, someone must have dropped this here. I'll just try it on. When I put the cap on, I felt faster all of a sudden. I felt sneakier. I think this cap increases my sneak speed. This is awesome. I hope whoever lost this doesn't miss it too much because this is gonna be a huge help. I decided to double check around the spot where I found the cap just in case there were any upgrades I missed. I didn't find any, but I did find a note. It says, don't forget to search ZOZO for more amazing adventures. Sounds like pretty good advice. From day 27 to day 31, the desert wolf came to see me. Zozo, I have something of the utmost importance to show you. I have made an addition to the statue. I followed him to the statue and I still couldn't quite tell what it was, but it looked pretty good. This is really coming together. I am honored you think so. And yet, something troubles me. The statue seems incomplete. What would you suggest? That's a great question. Hmm, I think it could use a little bit of crying obsidian. It's pretty great, but that'll give it the extra spark it needs. A wise choice indeed. You have arisen to the challenge once more, Zozo. You travel to the oasis to gather some. Yeah. So I ventured out to the oasis. I was just exploring and minding my own business when I encountered one of the oogly boogly barbarians. In the name of the bandit warlord, I'm here to destroy you. I'd prefer it if you didn't. He attacked, but I held my own and I was able to defeat him. Once the barbarian was taken care of, I was finally able to do what I had came to the oasis to do in the first place, gather some crying obsidian. This will make a great addition to the statue. From day 32 to day 35, I was getting ready to leave the oasis when an anxious looking servo came scurrying up to me. Um, hi, uh, sorry, excuse me, hi. Um, are you Zozo, the one who's been beating up bad guys all over the place? Sorry, that, that, that was rude, but are you? That's me, what's up? Well, uh, I'm sorry to bother you, but my friend, uh, the d d desert rabbit, he's in danger. A wraith came through here earlier and kidnapped him. But if you're too busy to help, uh, d d d don't worry about it. I don't want to be a bother. You're not a bother. I'd be happy to help. Let's go and get your friend back. Oh, th 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 thank you. The wraith took him to the space nearby. Follow, th follow the path and y you'll find it. From day 36 to day 39, I followed the servo's directions to the Wraith space. Eh, I've seen better. My base is way cooler than this one. I guess crime doesn't pay. Hey, who's the jerk stomping around outside my house and talking smack? The Wraith floated through the door to confront me. Me, I'm the jerk. I mean, I'm not a jerk. You are. Kidnapping is wrong. Well, that rabbit shouldn't have gotten in my way. Why don't you just let him go so we can all move on? What kind of fool do you think I am? I'm holding this loser rabbit for ransom. If the servo pays up, I'll let him go. That's not fair. He shouldn't have to pay you to see his friend again. That's it. We're gonna settle this with a battle. I drew my sword and got ready to fight. From day 40 to day 43, I started my battle with the kidnapping Wraith. 
Just let the rabbit go, and we don't have to do this! Never! I'm gonna get rich off of this ransom, and I'm gonna take your head to the bandit warlord and see if he'll pay me for doing him a favor! <laughs> no, you won't! You're not doing either of those things! It was a difficult fight, but I was finally able to defeat him! He dropped a key, and I unlocked a door in his base, letting the desert rabbit free! Your friend, the serval, sent me! Are you okay? That was pretty scary! But I'm not hurt or anything! Nothing a nap, a meal, and a hug from my best friend can't fix! I led the desert rabbit back to the serval and watched the two best friends have a tearful reunion. You're okay! Oh, I'm so glad! I'm sorry I couldn't pay the ransom! I'd do anything I could to save you! Th th thank you for your help, Sozo! Thank you! From day 44 to day 49, I took all of the crying obsidian I had gathered and brought it back to my base. When I got there, the desert wolf was waiting patiently for me. Welcome back from your arduous journey, Zuzu. I'm glad to see you were successful. I shall take this crying obsidian and incorporate it into the statue at once. While he was working on the statue, I decided to make some improvements to the base too. Why should he be doing all the work? I can also make this place better. Let's see, I bet a new perimeter wall would help. I spent a while constructing a wall around the perimeter of the base to keep invaders out. When I was finished, I took a step back and admired my hard work. This looks great! Time to check in on that statue! When I reached the statue, the desert wolf had finished adding on the crying obsidian. Wow, it's really coming together! I can't wait to find out what it is! From day 50 to day 53, I was hanging out of my base, enjoying the new improvements, when I suddenly heard a commotion coming from outside. I followed the sound and saw a bunch of barbarians run towards my base. Oh no! In the distance, I could see the bandit warlord hanging back while his oogly boogly boys did the dirty work for him. How do you like me now? Not very much, I wager. Huh. Come and face me yourself! Don't just hide back there like a coward! I'm not scared. I just don't feel like walking all the way over there. Yeah, much better to let my oogly boogly boys mess you up instead. He then talked to one of his minions. Say, boss, what should we do with this random wolf here? Oh, let's take him. I haven't had a good hostage in ages, and kidnapping is so much fun. Let's go. Ta-ta, Zozo. I hope you're getting used to losing, because it's going to keep happening. One of the barbarians took the desert wolf away. Toodaloo. The bandit warlord disappeared, leaving me with the remaining barbarians. I had no choice but to fight my way through them, so I did. I got my sword and I slashed left and right, knocking down every barbarian until none of those oogly boogly boys were left standing. Whew, that was a tough fight. As I took a second to catch my breath, I felt my hearts increase to 50. I also felt a huge burst of energy. I ran up to a piece of nearby wall and started climbing it. Whoa, I couldn't do that before. From day 54 to day 57, I was feeling excited about my new ability to climb walls. But the excitement didn't last long since the desert wolf was nowhere to be found. I wish I knew where they took him or how I can get him back. Before I could figure out a rescue mission though, I needed to fix up my sword. So I did just that. Using an anvil, I quickly repaired my sword. Now, who do I know who has experience with kidnapping and rescuing their friends? <gasps> Wait a second, I remember someone to the oasis. I returned to the oasis and tracked down the serval I helped before. Oh, uh, hi, so, so is, is, is something wrong? Something's very wrong. My friend was kidnapped and I don't know what to do next. Oh, geez, well, you're the hero, not me. I don't know who kidnapped them. The bandit warlord did. Oh no, his oogly boogly boys are so strong and scary. But I do know where they might have taken your friend. I bet they're in the weeping mire. But you'll need better gear before you go there. I, I don't want to be rude, but iron won't cut it when you're on the bandit warlord's turf. I'm sorry. Thanks for the advice. I'd better find some stronger weapons then. From day 58 to day 62, I ventured down into the mine, deeper than I'd ever gone before, and started searching. After a little while, I found some diamonds. Jackpot! I dug up all of the diamonds and was getting ready to carry them back to my base when a huge tarantula suddenly crawled out of the shadows and jumped at me. Ah, get back! But it didn't get back. It tried to bite me instead. I dodged just in time, climbing up the wall of the cave to get away from the spider. 
Next, I got my sword and attacked, jumping down from the wall and catching the tarantula by surprise. Gotcha! I was able to defeat the tarantula and escape from the cave without taking any damage. Phew, that was close. Now, time to use these diamonds. I crafted a diamond pickaxe and a diamond sword. These will be perfect. Time to make a plan. From day 63 to day 66, I took a look at the statue that the desert wolf had been working so hard on. I promise I'll get you back safe and sound. I will. You'll be able to finish this statue, my friend. I wanted to work on the statue, but it made me too sad to do anything without the desert wolf. I need to be brave so I can rescue him. No time to get discouraged. I have to remember my mission here. And you have to remember to subscribe to the channel for more Zozo stories and awesome videos. With that, there was no more time to sit around and miss the desert wolf. I had to go and get him back. From day 67 to day 70, I traveled to the Weeping Mire in search of the bandit warlord's base. Okay, you creep, where are you hiding, my friend? I used my speedy stealth to sneak around the place, looking for a way in. I spotted an entrance, but it was being guarded by a bunch of barbarians. There are a lot of them and only one of me, but I've got this spiffy diamond sword on my side and the determination to save my friend. I think I can do it. I guess the barbarians heard me giving myself a pep talk because one of them turned to look right at me. Hey, it's that tiger snake abomination. Get a boys, for the glory of the bandit warlord. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not gonna get got. They attacked me, but I was ready for them. With my new diamond sword, taking out those oogly boogly guards was a cinch. Before too long, they were all beaten, and I was ready to head into the dungeon and rescue the desert wolf. From day 71 to day 74, I ran inside the bandit warlord's base. I was ready to keep running until I reached the dungeon and found my friend, but a brigand was blocking my path. Get out of my way. I've got an important mission. No, I crush you. Time to fight, time to lose. Or maybe it's time for me to win. Ever think about that? The brigand didn't answer. Instead, it attacked me, but it was no match for my diamond sword. I defeated the brigand and continued my journey. As I did, I stumbled upon a chest. Oh, I wonder what's in here. I opened something good. I opened the chest and took a look inside. Whoa, I was right about it being something good. Look at this, it's a full set of diamond armor. I didn't hesitate. I grabbed the armor and put it on. Now no one can stop me from rescuing the desert wolf. I feel so tough and strong and ready to take on whatever threats try to get in my way. The bandit warlord is wrong about a lot of stuff, but he got one thing right. I really am a powerful tiger snake. But unlike him, I use my powers for good. No time to keep making speeches to myself. I've got to get moving. From day 75 to day 78, I finally reached the dungeon where I could see the desert wolf locked in a cage. Are you okay? Did those creeps hurt you? Do not worry about me, Zozo. I am unharmed. I thank you for coming to free me from this cage. I was not meant to be confined like this. Look behind you and find the key. What does that mean? Is it a riddle? No, Zozo, the key to my cell is behind you. Turn around and look. It is right there. Oh, <laughs> got it. I turned around and sure enough, there was the key. I picked it up and unlocked the cell. There, now you're free. I am forever in your debt, Zozo. Oh, there's no need for all that. You're my friend. I'm just glad you're safe. I must flee this place before they notice I am gone. I trust you will be right behind me. I'll be right there. Go on ahead. I'll meet you back at the base. Back home. I watched the desert wolf gracefully lope out of the dungeon, and I was about to follow him when the bandit warlord emerged from the shadows. Hello, Zozo. Fancy meeting you here. Just kidding. I knew you'd come here. It's a trap, isn't it? Oh, you saved your little friend. How nice. But who's gonna save you, eh? No one. And you're in my house now, mate. Yeah, maybe you should hire a decorator. Your house is pretty gross. How dare you? My mom decorated this lair, and she has impeccable taste. Just for that, I'll chop you into little bits, I will. I climbed the wall while he was yammering on and was able to surprise him by jumping down onto him, my sword ready. Hey, that's no fair. You kidnapped my friend. Seems pretty fair to me. This time, our strength was better matched. I could actually fight him and do some real damage. And he could tell I could see he was getting shaken up. 
I was about to attack again when he knocked me back into a wall with a sudden hit. While I was recovering, he ran away, disappearing down the hall. I'm not running away. Oh, I just left the oven on and my pies are burning. I'm very brave. I didn't believe him, but I decided to take that moment to get out of there and make my way back to my base. From day 79 to day 84, the bandit warlord paced back and forth in his lair deep in the weeping mire. I can't let myself lose to a tiger snake. What even is that? A reptile? A cat? Can't be both. But somehow, it is horrible, just horrible. I have to get stronger, bigger, badder. I know, I have this potion of strength that mummy gave me for my birthday. I promised to save it for a rainy day. And well, it looks pretty rainy to me. He grabbed the potion of strength and quickly drank the whole thing. Immediately, he began to grow bigger and stronger, letting the potion's power course through him. Oh, just you wait, Zozo. Next time, I won't have to run away. I mean, tend to some burning pies in the oven. Next time, it will be a fight to the death. Your death, not mine. From day 85 to day 89, I made it back to my base. I can't believe that bandit warlord keeps running away from our fights. What a dweeb. I needed to get out of there though, so I could come check on things back here. Desert Wolf, did you make it back? Yes, Zozo, I am here. And I have something wonderful to show you. The statue is finally complete. I hope that it will inspire you to achieve your goals and complete your hero's journey. I walked over to where he had been building the statue and my jaw dropped. It was a tiger's face. Wow, it's amazing. I find this symbol to be deeply meaningful, not just because of your tiger-like nature, but because of what it represents. It is the thrill of the fight. It is the ability to rise up to the challenge of a rival. It is the survivor watching his ultimate goal with the eye of the tiger. That's beautiful, thank you so much. If only I could be sure how to finally defeat the bandit warlord when he keeps running away. Simple, do not let him run away next time. Be brave, be true, stand and fight, even as he tries to flee. Only then will you at last be victorious. Also, I believe that there is a potion of power hidden in the oasis. Drink of it and it will prepare you for the final battle. From day 90 to day 94, I listened to the Desert Wolf's advice and returned to the oasis. When I got there, I saw a barbarian had gotten there first. The boss will be thrilled I found this potion of power for him. All I need to do is open this chest. Hey, wait a second. I need that potion. Yeah, find it, keepers. How about I fight you for it? Heh. <laughs> Sure, I could use a good victory. He was pretty confident, but he shouldn't have been. With my diamond sword and my new set of armor, I was much stronger than I had ever been before. I beat you oogly boogly boys without all this new gear and training. It'll be a piece of cake now. I was right too. It was a quick fight and like a piece of cake, winning was pretty sweet. With the barbarian out of my way, I opened the chest and found the potion of power inside. Great, I'll hold on to this until I absolutely need it. From day 95 to day 97, I traveled back to my base, feeling more and more confident with each passing day. I'm starting to think I could really do this. The desert wolf was right. I'm going to complete my hero's journey and defeat the bandit warlord. I feel like I'm watching him with the eye of the tiger right now. While I was thinking about that, the servo came to visit me. Hi, uh, excuse me, is Zozo home? Sorry to bother you. Hi, I'm here. Not a bother at all. What's up? The servo approached me. Well, I heard you were getting ready for a really big fight, and I found something I thought might help you. Not that you need any help. I'm sure you're very capable, totally on your own. But I thought you should have this, in case you want it. If you do... He handed me a full set of netherite armor. This is the most amazing armor I've ever seen. Thank you so much. What an incredible gift. You're sure? You really like it? I kept the receipt. You can totally exchange it if you want to. Oh, it's perfect. I'll wear this when I head into battle. With it on, I'll be protected from whatever the bandit warlord throws at me. Good luck, Zozo. Not, not that you need luck. Ah, uh, jeez, I'm sorry. I put my paw in my mouth again. I'm so rude. What I'm trying to say is, I believe in you. Message received, my friend. Message received. On day 98, I spent my time preparing for my final confrontation with the bandit warlord. I tried on my new netherite armor, practiced with my sword and bow, climbed walls, and practiced being quick and stealthy just like a tiger in the wild. 
and feeling really prepared. I think it's now or never, and I'd rather it be now. I've learned a lot about being a tiger snake, and I think the only thing left to do is make sure to search for Zozo videos by typing Z-O-Z-O -Z -O and leave a comment about who you want to see next. And defeat the big bat, of course. On day 99, I said goodbye to the desert wolf, took one more look at the tiger face statue, and traveled back to the bandit warlord's lair in the weeping mire. Okay, I was waiting for the right moment, and I think this is it. I grabbed the potion of power and drank it. Immediately, I felt it starting to work. I grew bigger and stronger. My heart's increased to 100. I feel awesome. I feel powerful. I feel like a tiger and snake combined. I shouted with excitement and a blast of fire came out of my mouth. And I've got fire breath too. What am I waiting for? Let's go. With all the confidence of a big strong tiger snake, I strode into the base until I finally found the bandit warlord. Hello, Zozo. You might notice I look a tad different. I had a potion and it's gone and made me big. Wait a minute, you're bigger too. No fair, that's no fair. What's that? Me mom's calling me. I've got to go, no time to fight right now. You're lying. I won't let you run away from another fight with me. You've done too many terrible things. We're finishing this now. Okay, just let me, ha! I tricked you. Just like that, he rushed at me and attacked. He caught me by surprise, but my new armor protected me from damage and gave me time to blast him with my fire breath. He definitely wasn't expecting that. After the fire breath, he was dazed and confused and definitely wasn't ready for my next move when I attacked with my sword. You tried to scare me, but you were just a bully, a cowardly bully. You always were. Well, you're not gonna bully anyone anymore. And with that, I struck a final blow and the bandit warlord fell. On day 100, I arrived back home at my base, victorious and happy. I did it, I finally did it. Wonderful news. Tell me, how does it feel to be a hero? It feels awesome. And what will your next quest be? I don't know, but right now, I wanna kick back and relax with my friends for a little while. Can we do that? We certainly can. Heroics are all well and good, but there is nothing more important than taking the time to rest after a job well done.